We begin with breaking news tonight. An investigation is underway after the North Dakota State Superintendent of Public Instruction is arrested for domestic assault. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Krista Baim. Superintendent Kirsten Baszler is behind bars for assaulting her fiance. The Bismarck Police Department says around 1.45 this morning, they were called for a domestic assault. 48 year, a 48-year-old man told officers that Baszler assaulted him during a fight. Police say he had visible injury and dried blood on his face. Baszler left the scene before officers arrived, and after investigating, they determined they had cause to arrest her. She was later found and arrested for the domestic-related simple assault and taken to the Burley County Detention Center. As the snow fell, the number of car thefts spiked this morning. A reminder to think twice when starting up your car and leaving it unlocked. Fargo police had their hands full, taking calls about stolen vehicles. Nearly 10 car thefts in Cass County alone today. And as Valley News Team's Christina Craig learned, in every case, the keys were left in the ignition with the cars unlocked. A blanket of white covers this quiet neighborhood in Frontier. With sub-zero temperatures, neighbors say warming your car is a must. I'm very quiet out here all the time, and you know, I just I leave my vehicle run out in the driveway. I wouldn't think anyone would try and steal it or steal anything out of it. But theft can happen anywhere. Leaving your engine running and doors unlocked, police say, attracts trouble. Just today, three cars were stolen in this area of South Fargo and nine total throughout Cass County. I think at times we fall victim to the idea that maybe uh, crime is something that happens to someone else and not us. Only four homes away from Nick Jesbang is where the man Fargo police are looking for found his joyride. Now it's got Jesbang thinking twice. I got some snowmobiles sitting around. You know, I guess we better pull the keys out of them if there's stuff like this going on in our neighborhood. Police say they believe one man is responsible. He's finding unlocked cars, taking them for a drive, and ditching them when finding a new opportunity. I would uh, lock the doors. You know, don't let the car running idly. Attent be attentive. Ensuring. They take all the necessary steps to protect themselves. In Fargo, Christina Craig, Valley News Live. Fargo police say these incidents all seem related, and they're looking for a bald white man in his mid-30s. He was last seen in the Frontier neighborhood. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Fargo Police Department. And the layer of snow created for some slick roads, which caused a two-car accident and backed up traffic for almost an hour on 45th Street and 13th Avenue tonight. Police say when the light at the intersection turned red, a car was not able to stop and slid through the intersection, hitting another vehicle driving on 13th Avenue. One passenger hit the window and broke a few of their teeth, and crews had to pry another passenger from one of the cars. Both of the passengers were brought to the hospital. Bemidji police are expecting to release more details tomorrow morning after a woman was found with multiple stab wounds Friday night. A man was arrested Saturday on a charge of second-degree murder in Bemidji, but police are not saying whether his arrest is connected to the murder of 35-year-old Krista Fisherman. Fisherman was lying near the 2800 block of Ridgeway Avenue in Bemidji just after 7 Friday night. Emergency crews worked to try and stop the bleeding, but she died at the hospital. The case is being investigated as a homicide by Bemidji police, the Beltrami County Sheriff's Office, and the Minnesota BCA. Court records won't be available to confirm the possible connection in this case until tomorrow. The FFA unveiled a long-awaited proposal today to open up the nation's skies to unmanned commercial drones. Dozens of industries have been pushing for permission to fly drones from movie studios to oil exploration firms. Banned until now, they're one step closer to getting permission to fly. And NBC's Tom Costello has the story. <laughs> It's the beginning of what may turn out to be something of a drone invasion. From realtors hoping to sell million dollar properties to farmland surveys, TV tower inspections, news gathering, and movie chase scenes. Today, the FAA released its proposed rules for commercial unmanned aircraft systems or drones, 55 pounds or lighter. They'd only be permitted to fly during daylight hours, under 500 feet at 100 miles per hour or less, and five miles away from airports. Pilots would have to maintain constant visual contact with their drones and be required to hold a new FAA flight certificate.
We have a responsibility to ensure that the national airspace system is safe for all users as well as for people on the ground. All right, so we're nice and stable. Already, the nation's top aviation schools are teaching a new generation of pilots, starting small. We're about two miles south from Tornado. Then getting into military sized drones. When you're first learning how to fly this thing, what's the biggest challenge? I would say the biggest challenge is the positional awareness of the aircraft. So whether it's flying towards you or whether it's flying away from you. But the FAA is also concerned about the number of close calls between drones and passenger planes, including this one last weekend at LAX. The, uh, one of those uh, radio control helicopter things that went right over the top of us at 4,000. Over the top of you at 4,000, roger that. And just last month, an unmanned drone crashed onto the White House lawn. Today, the unmanned aircraft right. industry said the FAA's proposed rules really? make sense. We're going to keep them under 500 feet. We're going to keep them line of sight. Uh, and we're going to keep them away from airports and essentially away from people. So there's a lot of value that can be created uh, with that alone, uh, and we think that this is a, a good way to get started.